Well, hey folks, I am back in Louisiana detecting today. I'm out with my brother. He's over here behind me. I'll show him later. We are at the site of an early 1800s military encampment. Uh, we've hunted this site for years, but it's always fun to get back out here. I always usually come across a few things. So we're excited to be here. I'm going to spend most of the morning, some part of the afternoon. It's a beautiful day. Birds are chirping. So uh, looking forward to it. Always good to be back in Louisiana and, and being able to uh, do some detecting with my brother. So we'll see what we come up with. Get to you on the first good find. Had a 18-19 uh, signal. Thought it ring up pretty good. My brother's working his way over here now, but uh, looks like I just popped myself a little cuff button here. Haven't cleaned it off. See the shank? Yeah, look at that. Nice. Maybe a dragoons. I see an eagle. Let me uh, get a toothbrush on it. Get it cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right, well you can see that, hopefully. That is a cuff size Dragoon's button. Two piece. If you can see that, focus on me. There you go. Got the eagle with shield. D in the middle, look at that. Outstanding, that's what we're after. Dug several of these uh, different versions, different varieties of Dragoon buttons over the years digging at this site. It's always good to get another one. Look at that. All right. Well, let's keep rolling. I got something interesting here. My brother's right over there. He just dug a flat button, early flat button. Couldn't get any design off of it though, but look at this. I think that's going to be a uh, part of a sword hanger chain. See how it's got the reinforced offset links? I've dug a piece of one of these before. This one's early. Look at that. Take that. That's a great find. All right, let's keep going. All right, had a decent 16, 17 signal here. Down in the plug. Looks like I'm going to have myself a musket ball. Fired by the looks of it. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're gonna keep working this little area here. My brother's over there, he just found a small caliber. Yeah, we'll take that. Let's get on some buttons. Had another good signal here, there's the hole. What you got? My brother just pulled out a fired musket ball. Is that a piece of a stirrup? No brass stirrup? I can't make anything else out of it. Obviously missing the bottom piece, but I think that's what that is. Let me know what you think. I like it though. Let me know. Had a really deep signal, 17, 18, probably 8 inches down. Looks like the Knox 800 sniffed out a little flat cuff button. Can't tell if the shank is on it. No, the shank's broken. See if we see anything on there. Yeah, there's something on there. I can't tell. Let me clean it up a bit. I'll be right back. I can't for sure identify. I think I see drooped eagle's wings on there. It's pretty smooth. You can see a little bit of the lettering on the back. Shank is broken, but I've dug these early uh, one-piece flat buttons with a little drooped eagle infantry button. 
So I'm thinking that's what that is. You can kind of see a little bit of the wing right there. I don't know. I may, may be able to clean it up a little bit more, but it looks pretty smooth. We'll take that, though. All right, well, I had myself a uh, scratchy 15-16 signal. Still working our way across the same area here. And look what's sitting on my shovel here. Can you see that? Look what's right in the middle. What does that look like? That looks like an artillery cannon flat button. Let's see what we got. Can't keep it in the sun. Well, maybe I can do it like that and do a pluck. Can you see that? Let's do the pluck. Absolutely, that's what that is. Absolutely. Look at that. Can you see the cannon? Shank is broke off. Let me see if I can get a toothpick on that before it dries, but that's what that is. Outstanding. All right, can you see that? See the cannon wheel? That's not going to focus on me. At the bottom, you can see the OR of core. Maybe you can see that a little bit better now. See the wagon wheel with the cannon right above it through the little stack cannon balls right beside it. Just can't get it to focus. There you go. Maybe. The sun's so bright. All right, well, that's the history we're after out here. We'll take it. That's uh, three buttons for the day and some musket balls and that chain. Love it. We've worked our way back across the field, uh, up on a little rise in the field. And I had a screamer, and it was pretty much at the surface, maybe two and a half inches down. And I popped it. Wasn't expecting this. Look at that. That's a complete boot heel plate. Look at that. That is in great condition. Found a bunch of these at Civil War sites, but I guess they date to earlier than that. I wasn't sure how far they went back, but that is a great piece. We'll take that. All right, we'll try to do a little live dig here. Hadn't done one of those in a while. I think it's going to be a musket ball, 15, 16. Back and forth. Right in there. See if we can do this. One handed. And this uh, soil here is pretty clayish. Apologies for shaking the camera here. Let's see. Maybe we got it. I don't think it was that deep. Turn you around this way so you can see. Yep, may not be even a musket ball. Maybe too shallow. Ring up like a musket ball, but yeah, it's gonna be a musket ball. Look right here. Look at that. Yeah. About a 44 caliber, maybe. Got it just a little bit with my shovel. There you go. All right, well, we made our way back over near the truck, so this may be the last find of the day. But it's going to be a fired musket ball. Look at that. Looks like something got it down the middle. Awesome. All right, well, if that is the last one, been a good day we'll see you in the wrap up well i think that's going to do it for today uh enjoyed the hunt out there with my brother always uh welcome those opportunities we don't get to, to uh we don't get to detect together too often so very appreciative of, the, of those chances when we do get together but there's the board let's do a quick wrap up uh, i don't have my brother's stuff in front of me but i'll throw a picture up of his finds. He had a great find right there at the end. Uh, I'll mention that in just a second, but let's run through this real quick. 
Got the different size musket balls. Uh, that was a fired, you can tell there. A couple of other sizes also fired. Maybe a plow got that one. Not sure. But you can see that. This actually, uh, this is the inside of a, um, oh, what do you call it? A tone harp, like a um, little circular. You've seen them before, I'm sure. Uh, it's similar to a harmonica reed, but that's what that is. It's missing the piece down here. So that's probably uh, of the same period, I would guess. Got the brass stirrup, and that is definitely a stirrup piece once I got it cleaned up and could look at it and you know see that it's missing missing the piece here to go across and obviously missing the the foot portion where the foot would go. But that's what that is. Old brass stirrup uh, of the period. Got the boot heel plate. Really good condition on that. Uh, the three buttons. This one was the little flat, and I, I thought for sure I was seeing the drooped eagle, uh, drooped wing eagle, out in the field, but just can't quite make out enough. Well, maybe I see a little something there. You kind of can see it there, but I've uh, I've dug similar uh, buttons with uh, the drooped eagle and the shield from this side before. So that's probably what that is. Got the cuff size. Dragoon button. You can see the eagle with the D there. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. Yeah, you can see there. Two piece. Uh, then I got the flat one piece artillery. And it is in bad shape, but there's no doubt about it. It definitely is. If nothing else, you can see the wagon wheel there. Uh, I threw the example up earlier. Um, so yeah, dug a couple of those before. Bad shape, but loved, uh, loved snagging that little button. And then I got the, uh, the saber chain. So some folks are calling that a curb chain from a horse bridle. That's not what that is. Uh, I'll throw a picture up of it right here so you can see it. So you can see there, uh, definitely the part, the, the chain that connects the uh, saber on an officer's sword, uh, officer's uniform. I've got pieces of those before. Actually, I got pretty much a complete one before now that I think about it. But that's probably my favorite find of the day. Um, yeah, lo love getting that. This is the, uh, let me pull this in here real quick. These are some of the other finds that I've dug at that location. So you can see I've got some, uh, Oh my my William Harrison presidential token is turned sideways. But I've got a couple of the old uh, general service US buttons there. Uh infantry bunch of dragoons buttons. This is uh off of a uh uh oh, what kind of cover? I can't even think now. Not a kepi. Um it's the it's the plume that where the feather would go at the top, and I cannot think of the type of cover that is. Got the shoulder scale piece. A uh, piece of a uh, powder flask, different little odds and ends, buckles, like I said, a lot of, lot of Dragoon. Script A, um, this was a Navy. So just uh, different different buttons that I've dug. Here's a little artillery, similar to the one I dug today. You can see that it's got the core at the bottom. So yeah. There's uh, some of the things, got the double piece of the shoulder scale down here. So same site, uh, if I can zoom out a little bit, kind of uh, some of the better things I've pulled out of there. Uh, let me throw a picture up of what my brother found. That is a piece of a musket, a flintlock musket. I'm not sure he ever identified it, um, but of the period for sure. Got a little fancy on it uh, if you look closely at it. A few musket balls there. And he picked up a bunch of old pottery. So great day out detecting at one of our favorite sites. Don't know how many chances we're going to get to hunt there in the future. Just because some different things happening in our lives. But uh, that may be the last time we get to hunt there. I'm not sure. But either way, enjoyed it. Great day out. Um, look forward to getting a chance to hunt with him again next time regardless of where we're at. So 
Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching, as always. Still over there on Instagram at I underscore dig underscore history. Uh, if you like the YouTube channel, if you're watching my videos, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. Love all the interaction and participation following along with me in this little hobby of mine. So, all right, that will do it, and we will see you guys next time.